one more step in the alignment for K2 serial number 246. We're going to go down here to VCO test and we're going to try to see what the VFO frequency is at. We're going to use the frequency counter probe on TP1 and we're going to see what number we get. So here is my frequency counter probe. Here is TP6 to get the probe connected. And TP1 is here. So that gets us going there. Then frequency counter is edit, cal. Hold it in to change the cal option to, there we are, frequency counter. And we hold it in again to activate the counter. And we've got 11925. And they say, let's see. Oh, we're supposed to be starting on the 80 meter band and set the VFO for 4000.10 kilohertz. That was a fail. So we didn't do that first. So we're going down to the 80 meter band. Whoops, there it is. We're gonna get us up here with a speed run. Okay, we're supposed to be set to four zero 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 one zero. Looks about like that. Okay. Then we've got the probe already connected. Then we're going back into frequency counter mode. There we go, there we go. All right, then it says you should now see a frequency counter reading in the eight to 10 megahertz range. It may or may not be stable at this time. If the reading is zero, your probe is broken. <laughs> I guess that's pretty loose. It has to be between eight and nine, or eight and 10 megahertz and we're at 89.14. And the uh, previous person in their K2 was at 8904. So we will tap menu and exit the Cal frequency counter. I see that was borderline boring, but I guess we didn't fail. And I'll see if that takes us, yeah, that takes us to another step. So next one we'll do will be VCO alignment. So I'll wait because that needs the uh, DMM ready. So thanks for watching that. That was a short one. Thanks. See ya.